Hi, my name is Bob Kimball. I'm a member of the Board of Selectmen here in Norton. I know in recent, uh, recent meetings and uh, recent conversations we've had with people in town, the question keeps coming up, why are we considering purchasing and building a new town hall? So today we're going to give you a tour of the facility to the best of our ability. I will tell you that the building behind me, the gray building, was I'm not sure of the year it was, it was built. It was an old gymnasium. It was part of the College of the Pine, which was, which was located across the street here from Town Hall. Behind that is the brick building. That was put on in 1979. That's the fire department. And that was the addition that was added in 1979 with improvements to the Town Hall as it stands today. So this was not built as a Town Hall. This was actually a gymnasium. As we go through the process, you'll see remnants of the old gymnasium, uh, including shower areas, um, the, old, the old stage and some of the areas where you can actually see the building the way it was prior to 1979. So I'd like to give you a tour. And again, we understand people are busy. We've offered to do some one-on-one -on -one tours of the building, but we realize people are busy, have a lot of things going on in their lives. So we thought this might be the best alternative and to uh, give you a tour of the building. We're going to start, and we're going to do in the basement. We're going to go on the first and second floor and give you an opportunity to see what we see every day in the condition of the present building and our reasons for looking for a new facility. So stay on for the tour. Okay, so we're coming through the uh, front entrance way to the town hall. This is the addition. This was put on in 1979. Everything to my right is the original gymnasium. Everything to the left was a new fire department. We do use some of these areas, as you'll see, uh, for some of our town departments. We have the veterans agent further down on the left, and beyond that we have the... Um, a break room, which we also use for a meeting room at times when necessary. So this is the back of the building. Uh, this is where the m m most of our parking is. And as you can see, you will see from the area, it's very limited in parking spaces. But everything you see in front of you in brick is a new building, 1979. And it was mostly designed for fire department use, although we do use one section of it for town uh, municipal use also. The gray building, again, is the old gymnasium. And as we proceed into the building, you'll see more and more of the difference between the old and the new as we uh, progress through the building itself. So we're limited for conference rooms, but this is a first floor conference room. It also uh, seconds as our break room. So during the day, you will have employees in here that will use this for, uh, for their break time. But for the most part, this is used for evening um, meetings and occasionally, uh, when you have to have a closed-door session, like an executive session, this is the only private room we have in the building that we can use for that purpose. Uh, all the furniture has been donated recently. Wheaton College donated all the chairs. And as you can see, we have a very small kitchenette here with a couple of minor uses that we can, uh, we can use for day-to-day -day stuff. So. But this is a, what we classify the first floor conference room. So this is the veteran's office. This room we're in right now was the actual mail room that we had here for since 1979. And we built a new one about six years ago. And we're able to give this back to the veteran's uh, agent to hopefully get some, uh, some help now and then to help her do her job. Uh, she does a lot of work out of this office. It's about, uh, I say, eight by eight. And this is Estelle Flett, our veteran's agent. She's doing a very good job for us. Hard at work here. Sorry to inter interfere, <laughs> but we appreciate taking the time. We do have some storage in here, but not a lot. And as you see, as you go around the building, as we go further and further in, you're going to see a lot of stuff in the hallways and areas where it shouldn't be because we really don't have any storage space available. So we're going to bring you into the uh, Selectman's meeting room. As you, we go in, you're going to notice a couple of things. This door to my left is actually a doorway that goes down to the old showers in bathrooms from the old gymnasium. We are in the old building now. And the carpeting you're going to see up here in the uh, Selectman's meeting room is the original 1979 carpeting. So this is our main meeting room. Uh, the Board of Selectmen use it, planning board, I believe the uh, uh, ZBA, and some of the small, smaller committees use this space for, for meeting room. This is our primary number one meeting room. It has uh, capability of being televised live. It'll hold comfortably about 30 people, 35 people. And again, it's uh, the original flooring. 
And we are now elevated. We're actually on the old stage of the old gymnasium from the College of the Pines. So this is the main hallway in the old building, uh, the old gymnasium. If you look at the windows on the right, those are actually the original exterior windows on the building. And as we get more into this first floor, you're going to notice, actually, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I guess we call it the first floor. It's, um, you're going to see more of an open space at the other end that kind of reflects the way it looked when it was a gymnasium. But this is where most of our business is handled on the downstairs uh, area. We have the selectman on the left, and then we have the uh, tax collector treasurer and the town clerk at the far end. So this is the selectman's uh, office area. Town manager has his office attached to it. This is a, a clear vision of what the, the old stage looks like. This is the area where uh, the gymnasium ended and the stage is in front of me. So that's uh, kind of give you an idea of how how it looks, and there is an elevator to the right, uh, a lift that was installed uh, back in the uh, back in the late 80s to become ADA compliant. So this is the spacious and luxurious uh, town manager's office. Uh, this new conference area was installed about two years ago. We actually took out a back hallway to give the town manager more privacy and more availability to having meetings. Above me is a window, well, one of many we have in the building, that actually goes to the second floor, so any any kind of confidential conversations that are being had in the building are pretty much nil due to the fact that you can hear anything you want to hear upstairs if you happen to be up there. Um, this is the town manager, Mr. Mike Units, working very hard. And um, I want to recognize the fact that all the furniture that he's using in here has been donated recently. This was never purchased by the town. And uh, with the exception of maybe the file cabinets, everything else has been donated to the town. Oh, well, he wants to show us. There are many cracks in this building, Mike. This is one of many. Um, you'll see uh, areas where we have uh, termites in the front. I believe there's an area where we have a problem with termites. But this uh, this building was we did, we did some patchwork on it about nine years ago, and we had prisoners from the Bristol County uh, uh, Sheriff's Office come here. Uh, the paint was donated, and we were able to do some patching, and, and we actually painted the whole interior and exterior of the building. So this is the town accountant's office. This is Marianne. We're hard at work over here doing her paperwork. As you can see from the, the various, the file cabinets are something we have to purchase. We, we're required to lock a lot of things up. But all the furnishing in this, in this office also has been donated over a period of time. So uh, this office isn't too, too bad. There's number two people work in this area and then the town accountant is, has an office directly behind me which we'll show you next. So this is the uh, town accountant's office. Uh, a lot of records are locked up in here and kept on the walk-in key because of the importance of the and the nature of the product itself. Uh, again you'll see two window wells here. There, again there's no privacy. Uh, recent paint job by the prisoners and again uh, most of the furnishing in this room were also donated in recent years. We did get a chance to put in a new, um, new flooring in this area, and uh, it has made some difference in the quality of the, um, of the air quality of the building itself. So this is our MDF room. This is where all of our technology is for the entire building. Uh, they also use it for storage. Again, we're very limited on a storage area. And in front of this is the, actually the new uh, mail room we built uh, about seven, eight years ago. So this is the tax collector treasurer office. It's one of the bigger offices we have in the building. It's also one of the more important ones. This is where we raise all of our income. We have no privacy. You'll see the ladies here hard at work. And uh, there's really no uh, petitions between them. And you'll see in a, in a future shot how open and wide open it is and how the, and the uh, sounds travel in the building itself. It's uh, a vault is behind this young lady here. And uh, that's where we lock up all our important uh, information. So this is the vault. It was put in, in uh, when the building was modified in 19, uh, 1979. The best of our ability, the best we can find on record, is the original building that was the gymnasium was built around 1909. So this building was modified about seven years, 70 years later for the current town hall. The space you see above us is actually remnants of the original gymnasium. You can see the height of the building, what it looked like back then, prior to all the petitions and lighting and the second floor being added to it. Again, we're in an area where a lot of important information is uh, 
it's handled and we have our town clerk behind us and between the town clerk and the treasurer's office uh, there's a lot of background noise and a lot of noise that comes from just from just from having a standard conversation with somebody so we're having a recent problem with termites and this is an example of some of the areas that we're having uh, getting ready to treat and try to uh, make sure that we have a problem you'll probably see more of this down in the basement once we get down there but at least it gives you an opportunity to see some of the damage that's being done to the present building. Again, one of the cracks, one of the many cracks we have in the building. We did try to repair it a few years ago, but it's coming back again. If you listen, you can hear the background noise. That's from the tax collector's office. So even as they're working and trying to get things done, uh, you can hear the echo and the noise that, that carries through to the town clerk's office. This is Lucia. Say hi. Hello. Is that town clerk? And she employs one full-time person with yourself, and then you have volunteers that come here, registrars, and, and that, right. We also, uh, a lot of things come out of this office, a lot of paperwork is generated from this office. We'll show you the hallway in a minute, but when we came in here about half an hour ago, there were actually five people sitting in the hallway uh, filling out paperwork because we have no other place to put them. So this is the mail room we built about six years ago. Took it out of the veteran's office. Uh, this hallway is utilized mostly for um, table space for people filling out paperwork and they also use it for storage as you can tell again we're very limited on storage area and unfortunately when public people come in we have a couple here right now applying for a marriage license they have to sit in the hallway and fill out the paperwork but we have no other place to put them this is the assistant to the town manager's office miss michelle brown working hard uh, as you can see, we have a very limited space here for storage and for her use also. The room is about maybe 7x7, seven seven, uh, maybe a bit bigger than that. But it's uh, very, very tight, very tiny, and a lot of work is generated from this office. And again, it's, the air quality isn't so good in here. Um, the lighting, as you can see, is not that great. And this little petition area was built uh, a number of years ago to accommodate the assistant to the town manager. This at one time was all open space. So this is the elevator. Uh, this only uh, goes to the first and second floor. It does go into the basement, but you need a special key to do it. And you can tell by the colors of it, it was uh, created in 1979, that bright orange. It was very popular back then. But again, it only controls, uh, can only be used on two floors. If you want to send somebody to the basement, you have to put somebody in it. And that run downstairs and push the button to get people to get downstairs. So this is the uh, second floor. And the door you're looking at right now was goes into the fire department. That's a new part of the building. This is also the new part, by the way. Uh, but as you can see, again, uh, the elevator does work here. And we're very limited on space for storage. Uh, we've got some file cabinets out here in this area. This is a rather new desk uh, that we picked up somewhere. And I believe they use it occasionally, but um, it's not very private. It's just an open hallway. That's all it is. So this is the building inspector's office. Uh, there are four inspectors that are working here along with an administrative assistant. You can see it's pretty tight. Um, again, when, when everyone's here, it's going to be uh, rather uh, congested and uh, very tight. When I first became a selectman, this was actually before this. It was where we used to, the finance committee used to use this as a meeting room. And uh, as the years progressed, we had to take it over and, and use it for office space. So this is the Board of Health office. Um, it employs four people. They're here most of the time. Uh, very, very tight. It's probably one of the tightest departments we have in, in Town Hall. Uh, they create a lot of paperwork here. They do a lot of work, daily work here. And uh, based on my measurements, it looks like it's about 15 feet wide by maybe 25 feet, 15 by 25. Uh, right now, it's hot as blazes in here. There's no air conditioning. and. Uh, Got the windows open, but it's not not really helping. So this is the public nurses area. Uh, she's supposed to have a confidential area, and as you can see, this is uh, basically all we have for her to work with. It looks like it's about two, four, six, eight, about twelve by eight in dimension. Uh, no petitions, no way to have a private conversation with someone. So again, it's a very very important department, but. And this area, table area is where they use to uh, fill out paperwork and do, do stuff like that as is needed. You can tell by the windows uh, on the front of the building that the vapor barriers are all gone. And you'll see that throughout the building where most of these windows need to be replaced. 
for the city assessor's office. We have three people working in here. Again, this is on the second floor over the, new, the old gymnasium area. So this is the second floor looking out toward the uh, tax collector treasurer's office area. Uh, three people to work here. And again, it's, uh, it's very hot up here tonight. Uh, air conditioning is not working. There is a vault behind that brick over there. And uh, it stands above the, the original vault downstairs from the uh, tax collector's office. So this is some recent water damage from the roof. Uh, this is probably one of the original roofs on this. This is the old building again. You can see by the maps, there's a lot of water damage. There's a lot of damage to the clipboards and the material that's on them. Um, these maps are very expensive, and we have one here we're probably going to end up having to throw away. If you look underneath that map, maybe I can get Shane to go back, you can see one of the, the uh, window wells that we keep talking about. And you can see how someone, I'm talking right now, and someone standing underneath me can hear everything I'm saying. There's no privacy. It's, it's a wide open uh, concept. That helps us air circulate better, and that's the main reason for it. So again, this is the second floor behind the assessor's office. This area is shared by many different departments. We have conservation. We have Norton Park and Recreation. And our planning and economic development is also in this area. This is what we call the second floor conference room. Uh, this group of tables and chairs right here is what we call a conference area. Um, a lot of people working up here, uh, very tight, and uh, mandatory uh, storage of files and various paperwork we have to keep, uh, keep on file up here. So we have the danger firing range. Uh, that is or is not being used any, any longer. That's when the police department uh, occupied the basement of the town hall along with communication. We'll show you different areas down here where, where things used to be and the condition that it is presently is now. If you were standing here, you'd probably get this uh, smell that, uh, that Shane and I are, are experiencing right now is very stale air and um, we'll show you as we go the condition of the basement. This is actually the new section of the building. It was built in 79. This is the first hallway coming downstairs. The elevator is to the left and the firing range is straight ahead. In order to come down here with a, uh, using the elevator, you need a special key to do it because they used to keep prisoners down here and they didn't want anyone to be able to get in the elevator and get out of here, so. So this is the old communication area, one of the two. When I, um, it was the second one after I became a selectman. We actually moved it from the doorway, which we'll be getting to shortly, back into the back corner for obvious uh, security reasons. But these rooms now are being used mostly for storage. And uh, we have no access because we have no keys. So this hallway uh, used to be the police department. And uh, there are offices on the right-hand side where the detectives, the police chief, uh, used to utilize this space for office area. The room closest to me is the booking room, as I recall. And uh, behind those doors, unfortunately, we can't get in there because they're all locked up. But uh, showers from the original um, gymnasium are in this area. And for the most part, they're still intact. So this area here was actually the operations center for the police department. Um, the area in front of me with a pile of whatever it is right now used to be a desk area where the uh, police department would man this. It had... It has uh, bulletproof grass, glass all around it. That's still in the doorways. And this was the main area for the department to function. Uh, you see the area where the cells, the jail cells used to be. But this was pretty much communication slash uh, police department. So this was the old police cell area. Uh, a number of years ago, we decided to auction off the old steel uh, the doorways, the gate, the grates. And... Um, trying to figure out a way to do it. So we found a company that actually, we put it out to bid, and we actually had someone give us $1,000 to come in here and take the, take out the old jail cell pieces. Um, this is what's left. It would have cost us tens of thousands to do it ourselves, so we were able to save us up a lot of money and still make $1,000. But you can see the condition of this room is pretty poor. And uh, again, the air quality is something to be uh, to talk about. So this is the back end of the male detention area. There were five cells here at one time. Um, the plumbing had to run behind the cells in order to, uh, obviously, for it to work. 
We are standing in front of the female detention center. It's being presently being used for uh, storage again, but the, the ladies had to be locked up separately. We actually have three cells. We have this area, and then we have behind that the female detention area, which has, uh, we can't get in there, but it has um, two cells. So this is the side of the building. Uh, you can see some of the uh, food of and the cupboard of kindness is here. This is where the old garages used to be for the police department. You can see the windows we've been talking about, how they split between the two floors. Steel beam in the middle with glass on uh, top and bottom. And then also you can see some of the structure cracks, which are pretty, pretty obvious out here. There's a lot of those uh, happening out here. So uh, this is pretty much going to conclude our walk through of the town hall. Uh, if anyone is interested, if they want to take a closer look, be more than happy to, uh, to show you around. I'm going to call here and make an appointment. I'll be glad to show you anything you want to see. What it doesn't show you or you can, what you don't see is the smells that we experience going from floor to floor along with the uh, quality of air and the, and the air conditioning uh, and lack thereof. So but I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if anyone has any questions, uh, the board of selectmen are here to town manager. We're here to answer any of your questions uh, that you may have regarding our present town hall. And uh, in advance, I'd like to thank you for your support. Thank you.